This game flew under a lot of Wargamers' radar for some reason. The game is Total Tank Generals. It's hex-based, and overall, it's a ton of fun, and it's a game I've been playing in my free time. They just released an update called Winter Storm, which is an interesting name. It contains four new scenarios, as well as several balancing patches, or it's balancing passes. Overall, we're going to take a look at the Eastern Front campaign, but first, we're going to take a look at the new scenarios that have been added. So if you come down here to the single scenario option, you'll see there's a slew of new scenarios, four to be exact. The new ones are Battle at Corland Pocket, Battle of the Alps, Battle of Belgium, and Operation Winter Storm. They also decreased the difficulty a little bit and did some balancing pack patches and fixes to the Zukov campaign. They, from what I read, they went too hard into the difficulty on the campaign. I still feel like the North African campaign is a bit challenging, but they didn't touch that one for some reason. So we're going to click on campaign and we're going to go down here to the Zukov campaign. Click next. We're going to click select mission. We're going to skip past this video. And down here you can actually adjust the difficulty. A lot of people have been playing at 50%, which is really fair considering how difficult this game is in its current iteration. But let's see if this is any less or any more challenging. Or let's just see how it feels. So we're just going to kind of do a first impressions of this campaign. Play through a few turns. Practice some of the mechanics and just kind of get an overall feel of it. I practiced it a little bit and it still feels challenging, but let's see what we got. During the Soviet campaign, you'll have higher infantry unit capacity, allowing you to field more forces relative to other forces. Makes sense. All your unit, all your infantry units will benefit from two morale. That's really needed because we're going to be facing off against tanks and lower prestige costs, so they're going to be a bit cheaper. You'll need to use them effectively since you'll be fighting against German tanks, which is superior, which are superior to the tanks afforded towards you afforded to you. Sorry, I stumbled right there. German tanks good, Soviet tanks bad. That's the gist of it. Use your infantry better, and you will win. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to close that little menu. We're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to take a look at the forces that we have, and we're going to identify our recon vehicle. This question mark generally means there's a unit in that general vicinity. We have one, two, three minor objectives, as well as an airfield standing in our way. Another minor objective, and then our two major ones, and we need to get there within seven turns to secure both of these. Overall, really, really challenging. So let's we have our recon unit. They're going to immediately move forward and move into this tree line. We're going to move forward one more time. And so far we have identified one, two, three, four, five. Unknown hostile. Infantry is going to immediately bound forward, secure this airfield because that is critical. Immediately bound forward once more. We're going to support this airfield actually with a, a tank. I think a tank in this airfield is really, really, really necessary. That's going to have a bit of a good little combined arms operation going on. We're going to grab this fourth infantry. They're just going to move forward. And we're going to stand on the outskirts of that tree line. All right. We're going to pull back one. Thank God it missed twice. So we have one, two units. They have one hex of distance, so we're actually still within range. So I believe that retrograde was incorrect, in my opinion. But this hex should obscure their vision. So we need to stack forces right here and prepare for an assault. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to bring an infantry crew up. And since at this moment in time, we do need to prioritize some units over here to secure this next minor objective. We are going to move these units to this area right there. Our tanks are going to maintain one hex distance from this building. Just I don't want to be engaged by them at this moment in time. And then we're going to actually mortar this unit over here. If we can get within range. And we can. We're also going to do a little bomber attack right there on that submachine gun. And we're just going to keep punishing them for just overall existing. Oh, and they survive with a solid retreat. Not enough action points, but that guy looks to have like a little Panzer Shrek on his shoulder. Panzer Grenadier, Gr Grenadier with a machine gun. That's a really powerful unit. Oh, there's a tank right there. We're out in the open, which is unfortunate. So this is not going to be extremely ideal. We can punish this guy a little bit, though. We don't have any action points. So... So do we attack on three fronts? Why Why wouldn't we? I don't think it's super ideal to 
Let's just get across this bridge. So our infantry has one, ha uh, two hacks distance. That's going to allow us to move closer if needed. We're going to use all three of these guys to hammer away at no one because they have no action points. All right, and then this is our little recon guy. He's just going to move up one hex. There's no reason for him to really be on the front lines. All right, that is our turn, so let's actually spend some points. We could do cavalry, we could do recon, we could do artillery. I think artillery might be more important. What's How much does this guy cost? 400 out of 500? No, we need infantry. Let's just flood the battlefield with infantry. Let's go right there. Here. Here. And that's... Oh, we can do one more. Here. So we have four new infantry squads. They move up. Move up. Move up. Welcome to the war, boys. Move up. I'm really confident in this general vicinity right here. So let's hit next turn. Or in turn. Not next unit. Um, can we slow down a little bit? What's going on here? What just happened? Kind of a pathetic little miss. Four, bro. Get out of here. What is. Alright, stop. Alright. It's feeling okay. Are we still going? One, two. What is this guy? And why is he. Why is the cavalry so strong against infantry units. What's our assault probability right here? So we just go 100% destroy one here. We move forward. This guy's overall having a real bad time. It sounds like we leveled up. Is that just a sound for doing wonderful at this game? We assault. What's our probability? I, I'm going to take a 91. I don't want these guys over on my doorstep. Why can they cross the river? These guys must be level 2. We're not going to engage with them. This guy's going to maintain distance. 100%. We're going to take that 100%. And randomly, that guy just gets to survive. For no reason, we're like chasing him around the map. So that's always wonderful. We have a tank right there. Everything here should be used up. I wish they would change color. This guy needs to pull back and retrograde soon. I hope he doesn't get engaged because he really needs to survive. What's our status if we just assault forward to this position? Like, I mean, obviously it's a 100%. What is this? This is a one for two. This is a uh, one for two. So we just take this assault. We move forward since they're there. I wonder if that was like a waste though. Six, one, retrogrades. We move up. We continue to work on our encirclement. Let's see if we can get that last kill. Outstanding. And then we're almost into the secondary position already. Ooh, we have a bit of nonsense developing. What's this over here? If we assault, what's our chance? 80%? Do we roll that 80%? I mean, if we roll that die, what, 10 times? 2 out of 10? What's, what if we do this? Can you guys, what if you guys assault? I don't want this tank on my doorstep. We'll take a 90. I'll take a 90 any day. Oh, 
way. I was going to say, no way. That dude's just going to get lucky with that tank, like, nonstop. Bro, beat it, nerd. That tank's invincible. You got range on that? Okay. Apparently, that's Neo from The Matrix, and he's just here to give us a hard time. You move forward. Can you... All right, so they can't go. They can't travel through that hex. What can we do right here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I feel like we're making good progress with these assaults. We have a tank. We're going to assault into this position. We should e easily overrun that. We're going to engage that guy next turn. We're going to work on dish dealing with him. And then we're going to secure this objective next turn. I don't like how close our tanks are to this unit. So... It's going to be a little bloody dance over there. And can anyone move forward? Absolutely. Oh, we didn't do anything with this guy. Thank goodness we checked. We'll take this 100% assault right now, though. God, that guy got shredded. We move forward. You need to resupply next turn. Lots of broken morale going on. Oh, I don't like that artillery unit. Do, can we do anything about him? Nope. Turn two. I think we're making good little progress. It doesn't feel as punishing, but let's see. I don't feel like I'm being punished, that's for sure. You miss. That's fine. You can retrograde. You need a retrograde. Or pull back or whatever. Retreat. Oh my god, he's trying to take us out with the artillery. Wow, how fortunate of him. Still feel I still I still feel the AI bias like 100%. Oh my God, miss! Come on, come on! That was so whack. That was. Are you serious? And we got a three right there. A two, dude. He don't miss. He don't miss. He don't miss. All right. So that was just ultra lame. Like that's all I can say about that. Come on, dude. Stop. Just go away. Thank you. Chasing your chasing you pointlessly. Some reason they can retreat. Like if if you force them off, they can like go off the wall across the water so they get like a free water crossing which is just the most makes absolutely no sense what's our assault percentage 47 percent waste what's our assault percentage 67 so we just shoot this guy in the open for no reason i don't really want to flip a coin for no reason we could be a bit smarter about this and just drop a warhead. Six. Does our assault percentage go up? 100%. Absolutely it does. We move up. We get it. And then he has a tank. And of course we walk into an ambush. I'm still not the biggest fan of that. We grab our best morale guy. He moves forward. And these guys move forward as well. Get off that OBJ. Completely forgot your existence existed. We stand by one hex. Because apparently this guy's really good at dealing damage. So we resupply. Can't resupply. We just do nothing with you. Alright, so this is the mess we're currently dealing with. We have really, really, really weakened force over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units, and we have to really, really figure this out. We can bring in a light tank. I'll take it. We need some armor on the battlefield. There we go. Light tank in combat. So what do we do? These guys are currently in an absolutely terrible position. This is currently a terrible position. We need to, we need to break something. Something here needs to give. Especially over here, something needs to give. So we grab our mortars and we say, please don't miss with our one mortar shot. 
And we do miss. Outstanding. What's our assault chance? 88%. Can we drive that percentage down? 85. These guys are in the open. They're attacking a fortified position. This is like a silly goose of attack. So let's just see if we can drive these guys off. I think that's our best decision, right? We go. I mean, we could try and let's just see what happens. That's a machine gun guy. All right, we can win this. We can win this. All right, that's what I like to see. So we go. What's our percentage to take it now? Should be really favored. Ninety-two. Oh, that's an RPG. But we need this town. Six one one. They move forward. You move. We're going to level them up next turn. Let's see what we get. Outstanding. Can we engage him once more? Nope. So we've broken up this little pocket. I don't like this Panzer unit being right here. There's really nothing we can do about it. I mean, it would be nice if that's what we could do. I guess we take this light tank and hopefully we got line of sight on him. We do. Outstanding. Welcome to the party. And you level up right off the bat. My dude. Uh, we're going to take soft attack. You're going to take soft attack. I just feel like that's what we're facing down. We dig in. You move, you dig. That's all we can do right there. This is the hard part. So we take this. Four. Awesome. We close this gap. This puts us near, what is this? This is a Panzer Eight light tank, Panzer One. Is this worth the assault? So we go, we assault forward, right? That puts us in the open. They're going to move to that tree line. I think this is better. Oh, what was the percentage on that? That drives them back. We get a level up. We move forward. Outstanding level up. Close attack. Confirm. All right. So we could actually resupply these guys for two turns, or we could move them over here. You need to move forward right here. And you need to fight this tank. I thought we were out of... That's one hex, not two hexes, Joe. My dude, you silly goose. You move one hex. You need to resupply next turn anyway. This sucks. Like, there's no way across that water. We resupply. You resupply next turn, and our AT is out of out of position. And then you, I think we play one more turn. All right, so they're on the retreat. Oh, you jerk. We're almost to their eight, their artillery. Why is he shooting at me? Oh, I'm, I hate mortar teams. We're gonna cross that water here in a moment. We're just going straight assault. Whoa, bro, relax. No way, no way. Dude just straight rolled two fours. Your bro don't ever roll a four. So we should do one for one. Why is he? All right, all righty, all righty. So we have one airstrike available. We can harass this mortar team. We can roll this one die right here. Outstanding. We can move forward one hex. You can move forward. We split our resources and get ready for our attack. 
I don't really want to sacrifice this area yet, so we're just going to move like that. What if we work for an encirclement? Watch someone just stumble out. There we go. Can you guys do anything? Can we assault? What's the assault percentage? 2%? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not going to be good. Can we assault? 33%? Nope. What is this? One for one. If we assault, what is it? 83. I'm more than more than proud of my boys to do this assault. You can do it. Level up. We'll take the level up. Always take that level up. So this guy's surrounded on three sides. Look at that dude go. Fight me, soft attack. You move forward. Do we ever do we ever do this? Yes, we do. You sleep. I mean this airfield's basically completely unguarded, but we have a significant force. I wonder if there's zone of control. Can they just freely and we just given up on this objective? Why did we allocate so many resources to this one area? I don't remember why. Either way, we can cross this water once more. It's this mortar team, honestly. So let's just give this, let's just rain. I mean, do we just get this asset off the battlefield? I mean, I feel like night witches. I feel like we get that asset off the battlefield. It's one less thing we need to chase around. Then we have this guy over here for absolutely no reason whatsoever other than two really just give us a hard time so we always just take this one for one these cavalry units are really really strong i need to look them up they're like really strong against artillery i mean all kinds of things you guys all move forward one so you engage me for no reason we take this 100 percent assault major mistake in my opinion now that i'm thinking about it because we're going to stumble into one, two, three, four lines of sight. And we're going to get absolutely shredded. We're going to take the anti-infantry training. Because we're just digging through. Oh my goodness, what is this? Panzers. We're not within one hex, so it doesn't really matter. And we are now across the water. Turn four. I think we're making good progress, but I think we're assaulting too much, and the assaulting really slows us down. So this isn't going to be a turn 7 magnificent run. Did you guys all auto-supply? And we still have this area that we haven't really done anything with. So this is a light tank. He won't really... What do we do? What's our assault? Oh, my God. Zoom out. Some units can't assault. 2%. Just get off my screen. So we just, who do we focus right here? We just, we just harass this, this guy. What can he do? You're gonna, you're really going to miss point blank like some kind of goober. Dude just straight up purposely was like, I don't care. Thank you. And that's it for our points, right? Nope, nope, nope. We're still in the game. Guy lives by one health. Outstanding. Outstanding. We play one turn. Oh, wait, wait. What can you do? What can you do? You got range? You don't got range. You got range? You don't got range. You got range? Oh my god, and he retreats. Did not want that retreat. That just leaves him in the battle, right? Like, when they retreat, that's, like, not good for us because it just leaves him on the battlefield. All right, that's just a standard four, my bro. Back off me with that. All right. One miss. Four, two. Two. Missed. Missed. Come on now. Two, one. All right, absolutely pointless. So, I just air interception. Don't need. All right, what are we thinking? What are we thinking, guys? 
we go. There's no. I mean, watch. I believe like you can like assault across this water for no reason. And it's a 44% chance of success. I wonder. That's kind of weird. That works that way. So we say. We say we ignore that guy. We just go. All right. We just ignore him. Stop, bro. And we get you up here with us. Then these weaker guys. Weaker guy that way. And if he tries and like punishes us, we just harass him here in a moment. So let's take let's do a little battle prep over here. What can we do? What do we got? Seven, eight, these this guy level he resupplied him. That was the problem. That's why I didn't want him just having that full capability of just like, yo, that puts us within one hex of him. You move up one, and we just kind of a, that was a dumb decision. And he levels up. Bro, back off me. We're dumb. Okay. Okay. So what do we do with this mess? What? Three. We lose three if we assault that tank. This is so dumb. Three, one. Two percent. So the, the fact that this tank exists is like the absolute worst. Because we can't really like do anything about it. He's just going to sit there and just lord over us. And like for some reason. All right. We should easily 20 why is that so bad? 1 4 So this one Panzer 3 or 2 is just like impenetrable for no reason. Bro, you are hands down the absolutely worst unit. Okay. So what do we even do here? We just I guess we just encircle him for no reason. Just go, okay, you move there. Uh, Alright. Thank you for being pointless. And then you go. I'm like really bothered by this tank. So we take three, he takes one. We take four, he takes one. Even if we mass firepower right here. It's a 27% chance to overrun one tank. And if everyone goes all together, four. I don't like this. I don't like that this one tank is literally just like the harbinger of death. For, no, uh, for absolutely no reason, this tank is just like the harbinger of death for us. Like, oh, so dumb. All right, what do we do over here? What's our assault over here? 8% chance. What about with these guys? Assault over here. What's our 75% chance? I'm just going to take the three quarters. Outstanding. Two, three. I'll take a two, three. For some reason, this guy can't shoot across. Oh, no, he can. One, one. All right. Why did we assault this position to begin with? So we're almost at Colin. This is just so frustrating right here. I don't know what to do about this. I mean, what can you do? Can you move forward at all? So we just, dude, you are so bad at your job. So, I mean, even if we go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight points for him just to level up. Like, and then, all right. 
All right. We're just what we're going to do is we're just going to continue to flank him and try and just deal with the assets that are behind us. I don't know what to do about that Panzer II. I guess we wait one more turn and have our have our bomb. Well, it's a good thing we did. Oh my god, that mortar. Bro, pound sand. I right. retreat, really, bro. We're like in the we're like mid assault right now. Four zero, and he's just gonna harass us. One. Cool. Welcome to the party, I guess. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Kind of bummed that we missed. Kind of bummed that unit's still active. I'm kind of bummed about a few things. We're gonna play one more turn, I think, and then we're gonna call it. I'm really bummed how this is, I'm really, really bummed how this is playing out over here. I mean, like what's, you gotta ask yourself, man, what's the point? So we just take this five, one, two, three. Y what do you do, two? You should win that right off the bat. Dude. We should, my dude, stop doing that. We should successfully assault this. Like, there's no reason for us not to successfully assault that. Because he's just going to pull that back and, like, reinforce it. So we just try and harass him. Thank you. Go away. You join the party. You join the party. I guess you need to resupply because you're out of morale. So we still have this nightmare to deal with. So we have one Panzer Regiment blocking us for next to no reason. For some reason, I had to move so ungodly close to him. We take that accuracy plus five. No reason never to not have that. And I guess we just pointlessly start dropping mortars on this position. Because we're going to airstrike that tank. What's our airstrike? Let's roll our airstrike first. Okay. Awesome. Don't need to worry about that guy. But now everyone's on the wrong side of the river. We're all on the wrong side of the river now. So outstanding assault for, I guess. Thanks, guys. No reason for that infantry to be over there at all. So now our infantry is back on the right side of the battlefield. We just make this guy have a bad time. See if we can get him to fall back. Do a little retreat. Pointless. Pointless. Cool, we have one ammo left. What can you do? You resupply for no reason because you've done absolutely nothing this game. No, you had, you had a pretty clutch come through. You, you had a pretty clutch. You came through once. All right, what madness are we dealing with over here on the western side? So we just... Why is this guy still in, in existence? Why can't you resupply? Probably because there's an enemy within range. Come on, dude. Pointless, my man. There we go. Six one.
Let's just stack. Four. So this is another Panzer we can't do absolutely anything about. All right, guys. Uh, that we're done with this round. It's okay. We did okay. We're not going to get the seven, but we'll definitely get it within ten, depending on how this goes over here. All right. Kind of bummer. Peace.